Why hello, welcome back to our Dutch farmhouse. My name is Naomi, if you're new here, and today we are doing a little bit of a different video because as you may have seen in my last couple of videos, I just did this board game room. And as I was decorating these bookshelves, I realized that um, I have run out of decor, <laughs> which means we need to go shopping, of course. So I'm gonna go out thrift shopping and antique shopping and I'm going to take you with me. And maybe somewhere along the way, I can think of some useful tips for you guys. So let's go. I guess the first tip that I thought of is something that I always do when I go thrift shopping is I make a list and I keep this list on my phone so that I can easily access it or add to it and I write down things that I should be looking for when I go out thrift shopping. One of the bigger things that are on that list right now is I'm looking for an old wooden door to replace the door to the pantry and therefore I went to my favorite antique store first because they have a lot of doors. A lot. It's not straight. Doors, doors, doors. Did I mention I'm looking for doors? One would think you would find some. Like that, you went out of my life. And I went back to silence. We started. This place also always has a really big collection of old jugs and vases. I absolutely love the earthy and old look of these things, but they can get quite pricey the bigger they get. So I usually just leave them, but this time I couldn't help myself. Oh, I hesitate to spend so much on something like this. But they're so pretty. Oh, I love this too. Oh, that felt like, felt like it moved. Yeah, that is broken. That's not. That's reasonable, I think. Let me take that one. And I also kind of want this one. And I don't, I think it's a hundred. Yeah, 95. They fit so well together. We're not gonna do it, but I am taking this. I could sit around and wait all day. You lay easy on my mind. I'm looking for something like this in the kitchen is a very narrow table so it's only 67 centimeters wide it might even be a little bit too long i think this would be really pretty with like a neutral lampshade i don't see a prize though Now these two chairs caught my eye. They looked really, really pretty, but sadly only from a distance. As I got closer, I could see that they were quite damaged and I really wouldn't know how to fix that. So I just left them there. If only you had a house where this would fit. Wow. Love those doors so much. Oh, those especially. These are gorgeous. But no, they would not fit. <laughs> Back to my hunt for a kitchen table. Again, 
absolutely gorgeous. What's the size? 230. It's too big. I also always really love these old suitcases, but they usually start at around 125 euros a piece here, and that is just a little bit much for me, so not today. Okay, so they had a lot of doors. I did not find a door. I am looking for such a specific size and such a specific style. I just, I couldn't, I couldn't find one. So, um, there's actually a thrift store right next to this place that I really want to visit. And I think there is some place that I maybe can get something to eat. So let's go and do that. Now this thrift store has a bit of a questionable taste when it comes to lighting, <laughs> but they do have some very unique items. Really? <laughs> oh, that's pretty. I found this little copper box that I liked, and I also found this glass storage thingy for butter. Do you guys know what that's called? I'm sure it has a name, but I can't remember what it is. Let me know in the comments if you know. So the next day I went to my local thrift store, which is a chain called Nopis. It's actually quite a well-known thrift store chain around these parts. Also very useful. Whichever thrift store I go to, I never ever skip the picture frame section. Because, I mean, most of it is not my style. But every now and then I will just run into a simple wooden frame that really nicely balances out all the very ornate and gold frames that I have. So never skip it. Also, if that is not your style, it's just a very cheap way of getting picture frames. They can get very expensive when you buy them new. And I mean, they are usually in a perfectly fine state. This would have been perfect if there were two. Summertime, summertime, everything's just fine. The next store I visited is a smaller one, and this is always a bit of fun for me because on one hand it's quite messy, and on the other hand they have decor organized by color. <laughs> Another thing that's interesting to look at are wallpapers. You can use wallpaper for so many things. You will probably never find enough wallpaper for an entire wall, at least not something that you like. But you can get enough to cover the back side of a bookcase or the bottom of a drawer or something. You can do so many creative things with wallpaper. Never skip it. Just see what's there. Now the biggest tip that I can give you, if you like decorating with books the way I do, and you've probably heard this tip before because it's everywhere, but I'm going to give it to you anyway. <laughs> is very often when you find hardcover books in thrift stores they still have that colorful sleeve around them if you take the sleeve off it very often reveals a very neutral colored beautiful book underneath that is also still in a really good shape because apparently people left the sleeve on so always check underneath the sleeves if i'm really honest with you i still buy books just for their color just to decorate with them i actually have cookbooks in my kitchen that i just got for the color i've never opened them never looked inside but every now and then you will find a title that you're really interested in or something that is just really nice to have on your shelves and then it's an added bonus if it has a very pretty cover Another thing that was on my thrift store list was nightstands. I am looking for nightstands for our bedroom makeover. And at the last thrift store that I went to, I actually found a nightstand that I already have, but I only have one. So I thought that would be perfect if I could just get the other one here really cheap and maybe I could make them prettier. I started thinking of how I could make them pretty and I just couldn't think of a way. <laughs> they are very, very mid-century modern. Uh, which is not my style at all and i actually really wanted wooden uh, nightstands just the wood tone as well so i didn't really want to paint them so i left it 
I'm rambling. Moving on. But besides that, this was actually the most fun visit for me because, as you may know, I am always looking for art and beautiful frames, and preferably beautiful art in beautiful frames, which is actually quite rare. I very often just buy the art for the frame, and then I put a print inside that I got from Etsy from an original print that I liked, but I do actually prefer having real paintings in the frames. And then right next to it, there was a mirror with a beautiful golden frame. And as I said, I'm working on my bedroom makeover, so we definitely have a place to put these. So I took the painting and the mirror and headed home. So I thought I would show you the things that I got. As I said, I am working on a makeover of our bedroom that is coming out very soon. And I thought that the mirror and the painting would be perfect for that. So if you wanna see how that all turns out, I'd say subscribe and hit that bell icon so that you will get an alert when I upload the video where these will be used. <laughs> Wasn't that a very clever way of asking you to subscribe? Anyway, I of course got that beautiful jug from that first antique store that we went to. And you may have already seen this because I've actually used it in the game room, the board game room in my last video. So it was already there, but I did get it there. So absolutely gorgeous. I am loving these earthy natural things. I really do. I also got that little um, butter container situation of which I still don't know what it's called, but I do think it's pretty and functional because we actually use this. Well, not now because I was saving it for the video, but we are going to use it. I got this little copper container, which I love because I really love the color in the kitchen, especially. What else do I have? Ooh, this one. No idea what it is. Again, I I thought it was really beautiful and very unique. Maybe I could put something in it, like a, a little twig of some kind or nothing. I can see this standing in a bookcase or on a shelf somewhere. I also got brass candle holders and one can never go wrong with brass candle holders. I love these things. So I got two of them. I've got these, which are meant for tiny, tiny candles. And I've got this one. And this is especially lovely because I am always looking for things that I can combine with a gallery wall or any kind of place where I'm putting multiple frames on the wall. It just adds a little bit of a different shape to it. So this is really, really nice. And then I also got this frame, which is a very simple frame. I'm sure it's not even that old but it was 63 cents and it's so nice and neutral and easy to combine with things like this, right? Just trust me. That was it really. I, d I didn't really get that much this time. I mean, I go thrifting a lot. Sometimes I come home with a lot of stuff, but this time it was okay. It also means that sometimes I get things that I later find out don't really fit the style I was going for or I just get something and I grew tired of it really quickly, or I didn't end up liking it as much as I thought I would, which is okay because then I actually bring it right back to the thrift store and then they can make money off of it twice. And I have been able to look at a pretty piece of decor for a while for not that much money. Um, it's also a really, really good way to figure out what kind of style you like. So if you are still one of those people that just don't go to a thrift store, for whatever reason, and I know you're out there, check it out. Just go and see what you can find. For me, it is mostly a style thing. I just really love that this has been around for a while. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed hanging out with me, even though there was no DIY project or room makeover of any kind this time. Say hi to me in the comments because I really like replying to your comments. And if you wanna help me grow my channel, hit that like button because that really helps. So for now, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.